Well, the whole narrative today, Nigel, from Rishi Sunak in the House of Commons downward has been that these high wholesale gas prices and thus much higher energy bills for ordinary men and women and families going forward here in the UK, have, it's just global. There's nothing we can do about it. They've been forced it upon us by events, dear boy, events. What Francis Egan is saying, and I think almost any energy expert in the world would agree with him, is with very little gas storage capability. We've got high renewable subsidies on those household fuel bills. And he's saying, and these are his claims, that fracking has been demonised. He said every day as the boss of Quadrilla, he wakes up to what he calls scare stories about water being contaminated, about, it, mm. about flames coming out of people's bathroom and kitchen taps. He says they're nonsense. And he says if Boris Johnson lifted that moratorium in fracking, it would create hundreds, thousands of jobs, raise tax revenues and ease the fuel bill burden now on ordinary men and women. It is bizarre, isn't it, Liam? I mean, we put a 25% tax, a hidden 25% tax on people's electricity bills, which is, which is, of course, VAT, and, of course, it's these green subsidies to fund mm. wind farms mm. and all the rest of it, and all this has been put on without anybody here being told mm. that it was actually happening. Um, and because of that, the price is too high. So we're now going to give you money back <laughs> by cutting your council Which tax. you're then going to pay back if over the next it. five years. Oh, and then we're going to put your taxes lucky. And then we're going to put your taxes up on the 1st of April. I mean, what the hell's well, going on? Well, my head's spinning, and that's before you have to make one of those ridiculous phone calls to try and deal with your energy company, who always keeps you on hold. I'm sure many people can relate to that. Look, I wanted the government to scrap... VAT on fuel bills. Scrap the VAT. That's what the campaign we've been running on my On The Money show on GB yep. News. I think it would be cleaner. What Rishi Sunak's come up with is almost sort of Gordon Brown levels of complexity and fiscal contortion. You know this rebate we're going to be getting when the Chancellor gives us back our own money? Yep. That doesn't kick in until October. So the bills... By which and... time the off-gen yep. price cap will be raised even more. The council tax reduction, that's only for people in homes that are A to D. So yep. there'll be many families that don't benefit from that. That's only in England, by the way. So I think the Chancellor should have been much more open and honest and transparent, scrapping VAT. If, you, if you're relatively poor, your household energy bill is a huge chunk of your income, so a VAT reduction helps you more. It's not true that it doesn't help the poor. Of course it helps the poor. And also, he should have... It's almost as if the government doesn't want to touch those renewable subsidies. There seems to be an influence on the Prime Minister that he dare not question, Nigel. Well, we're going for net zero, aren't we? And I wonder whether this has got more to do with Mrs Johnson. But we'll debate that another time. Liam Halligan, thank you very much indeed for joining me.